Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Joy of Sticks, Stickhead here with your Atari ST gaming channel and today we're playing California Games, oh, what a fantastic game, now it was originally released in about 1987, um, I think for the Commodore 64, I'm not sure if it was the Commodore 64 or the Apple II that got the first release of this or whether they were developed simultaneously, I don't know. But anyway, the next year we got our version on the Atari ST, so it's quite an early game for the ST really. Um, but it's really, well, spoiler alert, I really like this game. So yeah, as I say, it was produced on the ST in 1988, though it says 89 on the plate there, that's interesting. Mm. I don't know, Atari Mania says it's released in 88, but if you look at the copyright there it says 89, so maybe it's uh, early in 89. I'll have to have a look into that. Anyway, it's by Epix, you can see, uh, and obviously they're the, the producer of loads of different uh, multi-sports games. Uh, the other ones are like winter games, summer games, uh, and things like that where it follows like the Olympic formula pretty much and the, and the events you'll see in an Olympic games. But this is kind of like a, a predecessor to the X Games, if you like, where there are some more extreme type sports. Uh, and it's been a while since I've played it, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, now it was coded by somebody called Colin Gordon, uh, and he did some other stuff on the ST. He did uh, New Zealand Story, uh, Platoon, uh, and Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge. So yeah, I mean New Zealand Story, that's a cracking conversion. Platoon is ropey, so it's a bit of a mixed bag, but you know, he's, he hit a home run with this one. Uh, oh, and the music is by uh, Ben Dalglish, which is really cool and it's really good. It's really, you know, puts you in the the summery Californian mood, ready to play these games. All right, anyway, should we get cracking? Let's have a look, shall we? Are we loading? We're loading. Right, what should we do? Should we practice events? We might as well dive in and compete with all. Now, it <laughs> it makes sense to say that you know this this game is a lot more fun. In multiplayer I mean you could watch me today play through the events we'll go on a bit of a nostalgia trip of our own but yeah it makes a lot more sense when you got mates and you compete with each other and stuff like that but never mind we'll, uh, we'll just do the best we can today uh, who should we go with Casio I think I've got a Casio watch I have yeah check that out I've got my Casio watch on repping Casio I think if you just press enter here it skips it there you go and obviously you can add more players. I don't know how many players you can play with in this, actually. Um, but yeah, much better to compete against your mates than it is on your own. But still, we can have a little look. And we can see if I can remember how to do these different events. So, half pipe. Obviously that's uh, skateboarding. Uh, off we go. I remember a, a kick turn. Oh, that's a bit slow. All right, you got a pump. That's what I remember. Pump to get height. Oh, it didn't turn in time. Ow. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. We can do better than that. Here we go. Let's have a kick turn. We know how to do that one. And then we can pump. Oh, I remember. Up and fire. Does one of them. Oh, I don't know how to do a trick in the air, though. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how many attempts you get. I think I held the button too long. <laughs> uh, typical with the Epics games is like the different animations and stuff for your failures are, are really entertaining. Um, but yeah, so holding the opposite direction does a kick turn and then up and fire at the top of the ramp does an aerial. But I, I can't remember how to do tricks in the air. That's a bit of a shame really. It came first. Yeah. First of one. Always something to be proud of. Oh, foot bag. This rings a bell. I think we used to call it hacky sack around where I was from. But yeah, basically it's all about doing volleys, we would call it in football. And you get different points for doing different tricks. And the idea is to knock off as many of the different tricks as you can, because you get less and less points for repeating certain ones. So here we go. And you get points for hitting the seagull as well. So up and fire does a header. 
You can press down to turn around. Oh, that was one trick. Horseshoe, I remember that. Oh, I'm not doing very well. And he does, you press the fire button to try and hit the ball, but um, he does different things depending on where he is. Oh, a full axle. That's a full turn. Half axle is a half turn. I don't remember what any of the other tricks are. Seagull's not in season, apparently. Oh, it's going off the edge. Right, if it goes off the edge, they chuck it back in. And then if you do that, you get a nice catch. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if that's obvious, but we need a few more tricks here. Oh, I think you remember you can get one for hitting it five times in a row without dropping it. Should we try that? Oh, a jester. Nice. I don't know what a jester is, but we did one. There you go. You can see variety bonus is the thing that you're going for. What else could we get? Headbanger, a Dizzy Dean, reverse Doda, a double arch, an axle foley. I bet that was three turns, wasn't it? All right, never mind. Pretty good, pretty good. First again, wow, on a roll. Okay, surfing. I remember being pretty good at this one. I actually achieved perfect tens uh, back in the day. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, basically, you're in a, you're in a wave uh, and it's crashing behind you. So you need to keep going, otherwise you get uh, taken out. Uh, you can't hit the bottom of the screen because then you will uh, wipe out. And I think the idea is you've got to l land on the wave, kind of the opposite angle you take off at. Right, let's try again. So if I take off straight up, you've got to land straight down. Um, not like that, obviously. And you can see the wave there catching me up. Right, let's give it a go. Here we go. Oh. Not quite, not quite. Is that me over and done with? No, good. Do you just, oh my word. <laughs> didn't turn in time. Ooh. 0 0.6. Oh, that was terrible. I might need to come back and have another go at the surfing. Now skating, I remember being really dull. You basically just skate along and you have to avoid obstacles. Let's see. Do a few tricks and stuff and a bit of jumping. Here we go. I think you go up and down to yeah, up and down in time in order to Oh I got hit by the ball. <laughs> up and down in time in order to speed up. Now obviously avoid the cracks and the bitmap shades. And then if you hold fire she crouches and let go to jump. Now if you're holding up or down when you jump, she uh, does a little spin. I don't know if she does anything if you hold forwards and backwards, doesn't look like it. So I think you are kind of limited to those two tricks, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know if the sand wipes you out or if it just slows you down. You don't seem to jump any higher for holding it longer. So yeah, they could have made this a bit, a bit more of a, put a bit more variety in it, I suppose. Otherwise, it's a bit, um, a bit easy. I'm gonna trip on that crack now, though. Oh, there we go. Nice. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. I might deliberately trip myself off at some point. I don't know. There might be some other things you can do that I don't know about, but. Oh, I did a spin on the floor there, that's nice. How did I do that? Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, why am I tripping over there? Thin air? I'm doing this so slow, am I gonna make it? I am. Nice. I mean, the, uh, the graphics in this game, I do really appreciate. Some of the color choices are a bit weird, but... Um, all the little details and stuff in the background are true to Epic's form, which is nice. You know, got the seagulls sitting on the posts and stuff happening on the beach there, people playing. 
like the beach ball and stuff, so that's cool. Still can't work out how I did... Oh! Okay, so I think you've got to do a little circle with the joystick to do a spin on the ground. And I suppose it's... To get a max score, it's all about squeezing in as many different tricks as you can in between obstacles. So yeah, like if they'd have added a few more a few more different tricks you could do, this mode would be a lot uh, more enjoyable. Oh dear! Unless there's something that I'm missing, of course. Oh, actually, I'm having a right paddy there. <laughs> okay, BMX racing. This used to be my favourite, I think, back in the day. Because there are, it's quite similar in a way to the skating, but the track's more interesting, uh, there's more tricks you can do. Um, yeah, it's a bit faster. And I used to love BMXs <laughs> when I was a kid, so perfect. All right, here we go. I can't actually remember how to play this. Okay, I think he... All right, so you press forwards to accelerate, up and down to steer. Oh dear, what happened there? I don't know, but I was a doofus. Okay, not doing very well here. Ah, oh, okay. It's, oh, no. Is that it? That's terrible. Please let me do that again. Oh! Right, I'm going to go back and do BMX again, because what I was trying to do was hold the button to jump like we were in the skating, but you don't. You tap button to jump, so I was messing that up badly. Right, we'll go back and we'll have another go at the BMX later. Okay, next we've got Flying Disc. Now, this is a bit more of a technical challenge, if you like. Uh, lots of different things to do and remember. Um, so, if I remember rightly, you press... Uh, let me get it the right way. You press left, um, and to start this bar moving, you've got to get it in, right in the middle of the green speed there, uh, and press right, and then it goes back, and you've got to get it in the middle of the angle. And the closer to the middle as you get, the further the disc goes, the more points you'll get. Then you take control of the other person who's got to try and catch it. So let's have a go. Here we go. Oh, that was pretty off. All right, not terrible. And then, here she comes to catch it. Mm. Bing! Alright, nice and easy. But you can maximise your points, obviously, by hitting the dead centre of those green bits. And you can get the catcher. Is that a bit better? It's a little bit better. You can get the catcher to dive to catch. So if she gets slightly behind the disc, let it drop. And then, oh. <laughs> not quite like that, obviously. But you know, you get more points for diving and catching. So, oh, that was pretty terrible. It's a rubbish angle. It's really slow. All right, let's see if I can at least dive on this one. Here we go. <laughs> obviously, it takes a bit of practice to get the dive. Never mind. <laughs> you get the idea. All right, now I want to practice some because I remember the BMX being really cool. So let's have another go at that. And the great thing about these Epics games back in the day, I mean, if you weren't a horrible pirate like I was, where I just had tons of games copied for free anyway, um, you know, if you went out and spent your pocket money on a game, with an Epics multi-sports game, you actually got, you know, four or five decent little games. Oh, that's better. I goofed, apparently. Yeah, you've got to love the uh, totally... Oh, this is not going well. What am I doing wrong? All right, let's just practice riding and jumping a little bit. We'll worry about the tricks in a minute. Oh, there's a nice steep. There we go. Oh, I ate it. Yes, practice again. I must improve. Now, I remember... If you get in just the right place, like here, you pretty much avoid all the obstacles. <laughs> now, for little jumps, it's good to do that trick. Do you avoid these? No. <laughs> I think you have to move out of the way for some, but still. I seem to remember getting right up into that one spot. Oh. He says was really good. Oh, well, we won't do that this time, because I've obviously lost the knack. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Mm, buzzard bait. <laughs> and other 
90s exclamations. All right, I'm determined to do a backflip at least. Come on. Here we go. That's not a backflip. I can't backflip off this. No way. Not enough room. Righteous. All right. There's a steep jump coming up, isn't there? Here we go. Backflip time. Oh, yeah. Foot flip. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, totally tubular. Now, obviously, for high scores, it's all about cramming in as many tricks as possible without wiping out. Whoa, dude. I was nowhere near that. All right, can we, can we quit this? No, nope. all right then, let's just wipe out and then I'll have another go at the surfing. All right, so I'll crack that. I remember how to do that. And <laughs> dorky. No, thank you. We want to do surfing, please. All right, I'm gonna crack the surfing now as well. So the, the thing with the surfing is you, you rotate by pressing left or right, but if you press the fire button, you rotate quicker. So it's all about judging your rotations, especially when you're in the air, because uh, you want to, like I say, enter at the opposite angle at which you exited the wave, if that makes sense. So let's give it a go. Whoa, the wave is already encroaching. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, here we go. No, oh, I thought I had that. All right. Oh, did I press no? All right, let's have another go. So, like I say, I used to get uh, a perfect 10 score on the surfing way back in the day. But yeah, let's give it a go. There we go. It, oh no, the wave's there. <laughs> so I think if you build up enough speed, you can actually do that one. You get ahead of the wave enough. Oh, I don't know if it gives you a score on practice mode. Hmm, maybe not. It's a shame. Not that I'm ever going to reach a perfect 10 again, like the good old days. Nice. Alright, here we go. Let's go for another big loop. Oh yeah. Is the wave anywhere near me? Yes! Oh, I hit the bomb! <laughs> All right, that'll, I think that'll do. I've, I've given you the, the basics, haven't I? You can see what it's like. So yeah, there you go, that's California Games. Now, I did find a few magazine reviews of it, so it'd be interesting to see what they say. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Atari ST user first, they loved it. They gave it nine out of 10, and they said it was an excellent buy. All the events are eminently playable, although some are more difficult than others. Well, that's certainly true, and I think I demonstrated that today. <laughs> Uh, it'll appeal to those who want a break from shoot 'em ups. That's a good point. Uh, it's a nice, it's a refreshing kind of game, isn't it? You know, lots of different mini games as well to keep you interested. Um, yeah. So, what did uh, SD Format say? They gave it eighty-one percent. They didn't like it quite as much, but oh my word, a bit of casual racism here. It says straight from the airhead capital of America. Sorry to any uh, Californians watching there. I have visited your great state twice and it's an amazing place. Yeah, certainly not full of airheads. Loads of really interesting people there. Uh, what does it say? Loads of controls and rules for you to learn. I think it's saying that as a positive. Uh, it could be a negative, I suppose, but also a positive. Like I say, if you spent your pocket money on this, it'll keep you going for a while. Lots of different things to learn and... and um, master and they were never totally out of reach even though i was terrible today um when i played it as a kid it you know i was getting there it was i think it was only really the um skateboarding that i was terrible at um, but then i used to just do kick turns and aerials kick turns and aerials and then i'd get a decent score on it uh let's see what else to say trendy and embarrassing comments that continually appear <laughs> yeah that's a good point really it is very very 90s this game very 90s uh, what else did I find? I found a Zero magazine review now, uh, way back in issue one, the very first issue. And I didn't start getting Zero magazine until issue six, I think. So this is way back before even my time. Uh, they gave it 76, so they liked it a little less. Uh, but they talked about the nice little touches, attention to detail, little animations and things like that. Uh, and they said the graphics are not awesome, uh, which is, I don't know, I quite like the graphics in this. They're cartoony and... 
detailed. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, uh, and they said it was, look, like I said, look, it says much better with a friend or two, and that's absolutely it. This game only really makes sense uh, when you start playing it with others and you get competitive and trying to beat each other's scores and things like that. But yeah, okay, guys, there you go. That's California Games. I hope you enjoyed watching it uh, as much as I enjoyed playing it. Uh, and if you did enjoy that, don't forget to um, like and subscribe uh, so you can see a bit more in the future. And... Um, Weigh in with the comments. Did you play this? Or maybe you played a different conversion of it. I'd love to hear what the conversion was like on your machine. Uh, it's always really nice um, starting a conversation in the comments section below. It's great to hear from you. So please do. Anyway, that's it from me for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.